I've been pretty brutal when it comes to Meghan Markle's outfits during her time as a senior member of the British royal family. I've spoken, or I've made two videos about it, and it doesn't include like all her outfits because I wanted to put so much more in there, but it all it would have dragged out for way too long. So I put whatever I thought was her worst outfits, but there were more that I just couldn't put in there. Now let's look at some of Meghan's outfits where. I don't think would necessarily horrible looking. However, it's very ill-fitting and it makes her outfit look super tacky. Uh, and this video will also include when she left the royal family as well. I won't talk about anything pre-royal family because I'm not interested in her fashion then. It's not a style that I would like to critique. But I think that her outfits and her style did change. And there was that evolution of her, her, her style post the British royal family in which I am more interested to talk about that. So remember that time where she did the interview and then she said that the most important thing a woman must know is to tailor their clothes so that it fits better and it looks better. God, well, I think the most important thing you can do is tailoring. You know, no matter what you have in your closet. It's funny that she's giving that advice because she can't even take her own advice. It was something that she said she learned while being on suits. Before they would even film, they would literally tailor the clothes to fit her perfectly. And the stylist really put her in clothes that really suited her body shape and type. But now let's just look at some of the items where I think are really ill-fitted. Starting off with my favorite, her wedding dress. Megan wore a Givenchy wedding dress that cost an eye-watering three hundred and seventy thousand dollars Australian dollars and yet it looks like it was taken off the rack of some bootleg Asian bridal store in the burbs it looks so tacky and this is a definition of ill-fitted because I me mean, the dress could have been okay but it's so wrinkled in the arms the chest area or the bust area the waist and you can really tell that it's not fitted at all it looks way too big on her like how could you spend so much money on a dress and yet you can't even tailor it it is not just some event it's your wedding day it should be your big day this this is what should matter you should look perfect on your wedding day the thing is the fabric in itself doesn't help either i don't know what kind of fabric this is hello hello so future me here while i was editing this video i was thinking you know i should do a bit more research on megan markle's dress and so what i found out was megan markle's dress was actually made of silk but 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 there's a huge but coming you might be thinking if it's silk why doesn't it drape why does it have so much structure if you're someone like me who didn't, doesn't know too much about like fabric, I used to think silk was just like a very soft, flowy material. Um, it's very light because you would think of silk as like a drapey, satin kind of fabric. And that's one subcategory, one type of silk fabric. Um, so this is where the butt comes in. Silk in itself, it's just a type of, I guess, fiber uh, from the silk worms. Silk can be woven differently. It can create different types of silk fabrics. For example, yeah, chiffon silk. It's not woven tightly, so that's why it's like more see-through. But yeah, there's more types of silk. There's like silk mikados and silk satin, silk georgette, different types of silk fabric made from silk worms, but they're just woven differently. So for Meghan Markle's dress, hers was a double bonded silk caddy. And it was used to make the bateau, like the boat neckline of her dress. And it was used to make the three quarter sleeves, uh, six seamed lines, the nipped waist, nipped waist, I don't think it was nipped. So what I found online is that the material in itself already, the silk caddy is already like a thick material to begin with. And then with Meghan's dress, it was like double bonded, meaning that the type of silk fabric that is made by bonding two layers of silk together with adhesive. So like that makes it even more thick, I'm assuming. And you can actually really see it. So when you zoom into her dress, the boat neckline, you can actually see how thick the material is. Now, the problem with this is because it's so thick, what it does is that it holds structure very well. And so when there's gaps due to the dress not fitting properly, it crinkles over and you can see it in Megan's 
arms where if it was a lighter material it would just drape over and kind of hide how big the dress is but in this case it crinkled so you can tell it's huge because the fabric in itself holds the shape i know i'm only supposed to look at the fitting of the dress i don't understand the front part of the dress why it's just so flat and bland and boring like there's no shape to it there's no pleats to it there's no anything to it it's just flat straight and from the front it looks okay like front on but from the side when she turns it's just like anyways it looks uncomfortable it looks like she has to like kick the dress as she walks because there's no pleats for like better movement let's not forget that triple silk organza is used to make like the underskirt of the dress and it's extremely thick and stiff and it doesn't allow for much stretch and the purpose of an underskirt is to keep like the dress i guess like puffy to keep its shape you know wedding dresses how it puffs a little bit so it keeps that shape rather than falling flat some could argue that the reason why megan's dress is so big on her is because of the material is just so thick what had to happen was megan had to have a bit of space or a bit of room in the arm area and you know maybe the waist area to make her more comfortable and for her to like bend her arm and whatnot but the thing is if you're spending three hundred seventy thousand dollars on a dress on your wedding day millions of people are going to be watching you should take fabric into consideration and i'm sure you know you had a professional team to tell you what's going to be more comfortable what's going to be more flowy so uh, it shouldn't be an excuse to be like oh well the fabric's thick so i had to make it more loose on me you spent millions and millions and millions of dollars on your wedding the dress is like the main focus of the wedding i've seen the sketches of her dress and i could kind of see what she was going for like the vision where she wanted the front part the front of the dress like front on to go out like this maybe that's why she chose this fabric it could hold its shape more better because if she chose a more thinner and a more lighter silk it wouldn't have held its shape as well it would have just been like this so i think she was going for more structure in her dress but yeah the fitting is just terrible especially with this kind of fabric yeah i don't really have too much else to say about this dress it just ended up looking really unflattering uh yeah that's it <laughs> back to the video for megan harry's engagement photo megan wore aquazura shoes which you can tell is huge on her there's like a huge gap with the end of the shoes to her heel what a great way to start your introduction as a, a member of the british royal family by wearing huge shoes in your engagement photo i don't really have much to say about this except for the fact that these shoes are huge so i just had to put it in there this is post exit where uh, megan and harry attended an event i think it was called the salute to freedom gala it was in 2021 and she wore a carolina herrera carolina herrera something like that but she wore that dress and it looks as if she can't get something right because something's either too loose or too tight on her and from the her netflix documentary it looks as if she got it actually fitted and tailored to her but if that's the case then why is it so tight on her you can tell it's tight on her because look at the back it's digging into her skin you can actually see it it doesn't look flattering uh and the comfort level must be zero <laughs> on top of that did megan not take into account her body type or shape i'm not saying that her body type and shape is bad everyone has a different body shape and type you just have to wear whatever suits your body if you want the item to look nice uh there's a lot of things that i can't wear that i wish i could wear but unfortunately i can't i can't wear what are the what is it called those maxi dresses i love to wear them but i'm too short i would look like i'm wearing a potato sack i can't wear them you can see that the design is initially for someone with a like a longer torso looking at the design itself as you can see but megan has a shorter torso so he ended up looking a bit awkward well maybe it's just me but it really highlighted her short torso and the dress ended up looking like a late 1700s ball gown the big puff at the end the red dress that she wore on her farewell tour during her last week as a member of the royal family that was nice i really like that dress on her just really drew attention to you know megan's face and the dress itself so i really like that red dress on her but this dress i don't really like on her the fitting is terrible and i don't think it fits her body shape and type so the next few outfits i don't think are terribly ugly per se but man the execution was terrible 
she really didn't tailor her, her outfits very well or at all. So in 2019, she attended Wimbledon with Catherine, the Princess of Wales. Uh, she wore Ralph Lauren blue striped shirt and long white trousers and I really liked this outfit. It looked very Nordica. It suited the event itself. I actually drew inspiration from this outfit and I wear something similar like, like this quite often. The only issue here is the pants. Just check out the hem. Like I wear clots with mine. My, my pants don't touch the floor. It kind of just falls below my ankle. It looked terrible just dragging on the floor. It looked as if the pants was made for someone who's taller but Megan couldn't be bothered tailoring the pants so she just left it and wore it as it is. That collar, what's up with that collar? Why didn't she fold down the collar properly? It looks super messy. It didn't look like she put any effort into this outfit. She was scrunching up the sleeve messily. Her collar wasn't even folded down properly. The way she tucked it at the waist, you can see that she folded it way too high. I, I feel like it should just drape just over her pants. But even though the whole outfit itself would have looked really nice, it's just how she executed it. It ended up super sloppy. Again, with the long trousers. This outfit would have been really nice if she took up the hem of her pants. Again, it's dragging on the floor. And let's not forget that apparently on this day, it was actually 26 degrees. So the internet was making a joke out of her saying, why is she wearing this as if she's dressed for winter on a 26 degree day? When I first saw this outfit, I thought she was dressed for winter because I was like, oh, she's wearing a turtleneck top. She's wearing a coat. And then I found out it was 26 degrees. I was like, what the heck? I wear like a t-shirt on a six, 26 degree day. I don't want to harp on it too much. Overall, the outfit isn't ugly. It's just the pant in itself. Again, it's dragging on the floor, but that's not as bad as the one that I will be showing next because here, Megan and Harry visit Scotland and look how dirty her pants got. Like, Look at that hem. It was dragging on the floor and it was a wet, rainy day. So there was, it looked so gross and it was a mud everywhere on her pants. Again, why didn't she tailor this? She has all the money. It doesn't cost much for her to tailor something to make it look more presentable. I don't know why she doesn't do it. You can do this during your social climbing days if you want, but as a royal, this doesn't look professional. It doesn't look very clean. It looks really sloppy. Now let's clean our eyes by looking at the Princess of Wales and how you're meant to wear long floor sweeping pants. The Princess of Wales attended Commonwealth Games. When was this? I have no idea of the date, but she attended Commonwealth Games. And this hem is longer than her usual suit pants. So it's almost touching the ground. But the thing is, look how polished it looks. And the reason why it looks so polished is because it's actually not touching the ground. With these kind of style, they're called like, I think, uh, floor sweeping pants. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to take your pants to uh, someone who tailors, you know, clothes, bring your heels, wear it. And then when you wear it, they can adjust how high they need to take it up. And what you want to do is you want to take it just a centimeter off the ground if you want that floor sweeping effect without actually touching the floor. So that way, you know, the pants don't drag on the floor. And that's what Catherine has done. Anyways, that's all for today. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and tell me if you agree or disagree. Yeah, I'd love to hear your opinion. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.